my biggest tech dilemma is my TV. Um, it's really old, and right now we just like to change that. I'm living at home in Aston with my mom, my brother, my sister. Um, it's a quite a busy household at times, but my bedroom really that's my safe haven. When I come home from like dance practice or something, you know, I, like, I would go straight to Netflix with the Amazon Fire Stick. Like, at times I'm like, do this, like, but no, it, nothing's happening, nothing's working. So something needs to change. <laughs> Well, help is at hand, because Otis and I have lined up two different gadgets to try and sort out Nini's TV issues. And once he's seen both, he'll pick a winner. Now, stand back, Barrett, because I'm up first with a super affordable setup that I think will be perfect for Nini's bedroom. I've got an all-singing, all-dancing, full HD, with HDR, smart TV for you. With this 32-inch TCL TV powered by Roku, Nini won't have to rely on his temperamental streaming stick because it has all the big streaming players built into its very easy-to-use interface. What do you think? Oh, yeah, it's cool. You know, it's a decent TV. It responds really good. <laughs> it's fast. I'm sure for a fact I won't be tapping the remote every five minutes, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, man. And the best bit for Nini? The price tag is teeny weeny. It's £149. Really? Really. £149. £149. For under 150 quid, this HDR TV will give Nini more detail, a better range of colour and contrast, and much more accurate light and dark shades than his current setup. Already, <laughs> the difference is incredible. The picture is so clear. This TV also works in conjunction with the free Roku app, meaning you can use your smartphone to control it over Wi-Fi. You can use your phone for typing, so if you want to perform your searches quicker, and also, whatever you've got on your phone, you can cast to the big screen via the app. You can watch your dance routines back again. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, and let me not forget that you can use the app as well and your voice to navigate through here. So press the button and then ask. Open Red Bull TV. <laughs> <laughs> Little things in life, It's eh? the small things, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I love it. What could a TV like this do for you? It will keep me calm, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. I think it makes life a little bit easier for me. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. Now, the problem with your solution, Otis, is that you're actually getting rid of a perfectly decent bit of tech. So I'm going to save your TV from the scrap heap. You know, we need to do our bit from the environment. We can upgrade it. We don't need to get rid of it completely. And that's why I picked the Amazon Fire TV Cube to bring Nini's streaming game to the next level. So you already have a Fire Stick yourself, but this is guaranteed to be faster because this is Amazon's fastest streaming media player. Like the Roku TV, this device features all the major streaming services, but crucially, it can be plugged into any TV using a HDMI port, meaning even Nini's old television can benefit from the latest technology, like using Alexa's voice commands to control it hands-free. Do you want to try turning it off? Let's go. Alexa, turn TV off. OK. <laughs> I like how that's tickled. Yeah, I like that. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Do you think you'd use the Alexa functionality of it? I, uh, I, you know what? I think I would. If I know, <laughs> if I know the remote is halfway across the room and I just need to say something for the TV to turn off, then I could just do that. Exactly. <laughs> The Cube even supports 4K streaming with Dolby Atmos audio, so Nini is getting a future-proof setup for when he does finally say goodbye to his TV. Yeah, you're future-proofing, but for 4K, you need a specific level of internet. How's your internet doing? It's not so good. <laughs> See? It doesn't then matter if he gets a highfalutin 4K TV if his internet isn't up to it. So... His internet will be better by then. Fingers crossed. <laughs> And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that Nini thinks that this gadget also comes at a great price. The Amazon Cube comes in at £119.99. 
That's not bad. It is £30 cheaper <laughs> than Otis's <laughs> option. And you've got a bigger TV. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So, with both gadgets pitched, will Nini go for my suggestion, the TCL Smart TV powered by Roku? Or mine, the Amazon Fire TV Cube? I think this wins. OK. OK. Why? It is a very big upgrade from the TV that I already have. And the picture quality on this one is perfect. So, yeah, I think I would definitely go with this one. The price is very attractive. Yeah, yeah, hugely. Yeah.